Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is skin depth or depth of penetration. It is related to the subject electromagnetic field theory EFT for T E N T C students. This is the most important part uh, from the unit uh, uniform plane wave. Now, what is this concept? Uh, before discussing the definition, let me draw one diagram. I am drawing a diagram of some conductor having certain depth like this. Suppose incoming wave is like this which falls on the conductor and let us say surface of conductor is at z is equals to 0. This depth is related to distance z. Surface of conductor is at z is equals to 0. The tendency is that whenever the wave falls on the conductor it tries to move inside the conductor then every time this wave has to overcome the opposition provided by this conducting medium. Actually, this is not a perfect conductor. In practical cases, the conductor provides certain opposition. So, wave has to overcome this opposition. This opposition is related to one parameter which is denoted by alpha and alpha is known as attenuation constant. In simple language, we can say like this. If the wave falls on the surface of conductor, it tries to move inside the conductor, then every time the wave gets attenuated. That means amount of the amplitude of wave goes on reducing. This attenuation is measured by the parameter alpha. Now come back to this definition. The definition is it is the depth at which the wave attenuates by an amount 1 by E times E is the mathematical term or 37% of its initial value. Now, what does this mean? Suppose I will consider the equation of wave as E is equals to E0 E raised to minus alpha z. As we mentioned, uh, alpha is the attenuation, z is the distance, E0 is the amplitude, initial amplitude of wave. If I will consider first condition at z is equals to 0. Do remember, when I say the condition is z is equals to 0, it indicates it is the condition on the top surface of conductor. So, if you put z is equals to 0 in this equation, in the equation of E, I will get E is equals to E0 E raised to 0 because I am putting z is equals to 0. E raised to 0 is 1. So, on the surface, or this is z is equals to 0. So, on the surface or at z is equals to 0, you are getting the value of E that is equals to E0. Consider second case. At distance z is equals to 1 by alpha. Alpha may be having some value. I am considering the distance is equals to 1 by alpha. That means what I need to do, I need to put this value 1 by alpha in the equation of E. So, I will write like this, E is equals to E0, E raised to minus alpha. This term, I have taken it as it is. And now, the value of Z is 1 by alpha. So, I will put 1 by alpha. This alpha, alpha gets cancelled. You will be getting E raised, E0 into E raised to minus 1. This gives me E is equals to 1 by E. E raised to minus 1 is 1 by E into E0. This is the case, this is the value of E you are getting at a distance Z is equal to 1 by alpha. What this definition indicates? It is the amount 1 by E. When the amount becomes 1 by E or 37% of its initial value, that particular distance is known as depth of penetration or skin depth. Now, E0 is the value of E at the surface that is z is equal to 0. If I put the distance z is equal to 1 by alpha, then I am getting the value which is 1 by e times e0. e0 was the initial value. This particular distance, now this distance we assume is equal to this distance z is equal to 1 by alpha. This particular distance at which the wave is attenuated by an amount 1 by e times initial value is the depth of penetration and notation for depth of penetration is delta. So, generalized equation of delta is 1 by alpha, where we discussed alpha is the attenuation. Now, this is not the end of derivation. Actually, the question is like this. Uh, derive the expression of depth of penetration for the good conductor. 
we'll have to describe this thing up to this point. Now, in case of good conductor, we need to remember one formula, alpha is equals to beta is equals to under root of omega mu sigma upon 2. Alpha is the phase shift, alpha is the attenuation constant, beta is the phase shift, which is equals to under root of omega mu sigma upon 2. Omega is angular frequency, mu is permeability and we know the well-known relation mu is equals to mu 0 into mu r. Mu 0 is permeability of free space, mu r is relative permeability. Sigma is the conductivity of a medium and for a good conductor, the generalized formula is alpha is equals to beta is equals to 1 by delta. That means I can write like this, delta is equals to 1 by alpha or 1 by beta. So for the good conductor, equation of delta is, it's pretty simple. You just have to memorize one formula, that is alpha and beta, formula of alpha and beta. Delta is 1 by alpha, reciprocal of alpha. So I will just take reciprocal of this equation. So for good conductor, it becomes under root of 2 upon omega mu sigma. This is the derivation of skin depth in case of a good conductor. Now we need to derive two more parameters related to this. There is one more parameter which is known as lambda. Lambda is the wavelength. The generalized expression is lambda is equal to 2 pi upon beta where beta is the phase shift. Just now we discussed this formula. Alpha is same as beta which is equal to 1 by delta. So in place of beta, if I will put the value 1 by delta, I will get this equation as 2 pi upon 1 by delta. Therefore, lambda is equal to 2 pi into delta. This is the expression of wavelength for good conductor in terms of delta. Now, last uh, part of this derivation. Velocity of propagation, Vp, is given as omega upon beta. This is the generalized expression of velocity of propagation for uniform plane waves. But same thing, beta is 1 by delta. So if I will put value of beta, which is 1 by delta, I will get velocity of propagation is equal to omega into delta. This is the equation of velocity of propagation for the good conductor in terms of skin depth or depth of penetration, that is delta. We'll solve few numericals to get an idea of this concept. The numerical is find the skin depth at a frequency of 1.6 megahertz. This is the given frequency F which is 1.6 megahertz. And that means it is 1.6 into 10 raised to 6 hertz. 1 megahertz is 10 raised to 6 hertz. In aluminium whose conductivity is sigma, value of sigma is given it is 38.2. Observe the unit, given unit of sigma. It is mega Siemens per meter. This big M, capital M stands for mega Siemens. The general unit is Siemens per meter. So it will be multiplied with 10 raised to 6 because I need to convert it into Siemens per meter. So this is the given value of sigma. And mu r, that is relative permeability, is given as 1. Also find the propagation constant and wave velocity. First we will calculate the skin depth. The skin depth for good conductor is given by aluminium is a good conductor. Uh, then copper is also a good conductor. In the present case aluminium is the conducting medium. Now we have the equation of delta for good conductor. It is under root of 2 upon omega mu sigma. We don't know the value of omega. Omega is angular frequency, but we know the basic formula. Omega is 2 pi f. f is the frequency which is given in the question. Then mu, mu is permeability which is given as mu 0 into mu r. Value of mu r is given as 1 and we know the value of mu 0. It is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. So simply put the values in this formula, you will get 2 upon 2 pi into value of frequency is 1.6 into 10 raised to 6 into 4 pi. I am putting value of mu 0 into 10 raised to minus 7. Mu r is 1, so I am skipping this value into sigma. Value of conductivity is given as 38.2 into 10 raised to 6. 
Simplify this, solve this equation on the calculator. So you will get value of delta, answer of delta that is equals to 64.4 micrometer. De delta is basically a depth, rather it is in simplified language, it is a distance. So basically it is meters, but you will get the answer 64.4 into 10 raised to minus 6, that is micrometers. This is the answer of first part. Now, second part, it is asked to calculate the propagation constant. Now, propagation constant, this term, propagation constant is denoted by gamma and generalized formula of gamma is alpha plus j beta, where alpha is attenuation constant, beta is the phase shift. But do remember the basics. In case of good conductor, alpha is same as beta, which is equals to 1 by delta where delta, this value we have already calculated. So, if I will put the value of alpha and beta in terms of delta, I will get the equation 1 by delta plus j into 1 by delta. Simply put the value of delta. Keep in mind, this is in micrometer. So, 64.4 into 10 raised to minus 6. That value you need to put here uh, in place of delta. So, if you just simplify this equation, you will get the answer of real part and j part. Now, this answer will be gamma is equals to 15.48 into 10 raised to 3. This is the value of alpha plus j. Same value of beta you will get. That is 15.48 into 10 raised to 3. This is the propagation constant which is denoted by gamma. Now last part, wave velocity. Wave velocity is also known as velocity of propagation which is given as omega upon beta or omega into delta. Just now we have derived this formula, omega into delta. Same logic, omega is 2 pi f, put the value, 2 pi f, put the value of omega over here. That is, and we're putting 2 pi f over here, f is 1.6 into 10 raised to 6. And then put the value of delta. So, if you solve this on the calculator, answer of VP, velocity of propagation, is 647.42 meters per second. So, this is the final answer. So, dear students, that's it for today's video. Uh, this, this video elaborates the concept of skin depth or depth of penetration. So, thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.